Hello to all my fellow Numismatic Coin Collectors out there. This is Numismatic King with another Numismatic Coin Update. Today I'm going to be talking about something ridiculous, guys. I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin. Or should I refer to them as Bitchcoin? Because honestly, guys, for all you uh, silver stackers out there, life's a bitch right now. I mean, the whole 2013 year, silver and gold... Precious metals, in general, have just been stagnant. They haven't been moving. But I remember last year when Bitcoin was at $100 and two years ago when Bitcoin was at $0.30, cents, my buddies kept telling me who weren't into precious metals, who were day traders, kept telling me to look into Bitcoin. And I kept denying them. I kept telling them the same things that the silver community says. Uh, it's not backed up by anything. It's a virtual currency. It might even be worse than the U.S. dollar and the actual currencies because at least with the U.S. dollar, they give you a piece of paper for the note that they're claiming is worth $100. But with Bitcoin, last year at least, they would give you a virtual coin, nothing physical, for a hundred dollars and two two years ago it was at 30 cents so two years ago I didn't justify putting money into this last year I didn't justify putting money into this and Bitcoin shot up to thirteen hundred dollars it went over the price of gold so it went all the way as uh, Contembo down or Contango down his uh, his YouTube channel name is he made a video about how Bitcoin shot all the way to Mars and then came back down and now has landed on the moon, guys. And it's just chilling on the moon, waiting for something to happen. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys to put all your eggs in Bitcoin right now. That would be the worst call because it's almost uh, hovering at $1,000 right now. But it makes me think, guys. It makes me ponder. All this talk about silver shooting to the moon and we should put our money into precious metals. If I were to put the same money that I have been in precious metals for over the last two years into Bitcoin, for example, could you guys imagine how wealthy and ridiculously rich I would be right now? If I bought in Bitcoin at 30 cents and I sold around a thousand dollars, wow, just life would not be the same. But do I have any regrets? Yes, I, I should have put at least a hundred dollars into Bitcoin. But hindsight is 2020. So now that I know, I'm looking into the cryptocurrencies, even though it goes against all my moral and all my values, I still will look into it. Because I'm open to ideas, guys. If Bitcoin shot up to the moon, who's there to say all these other cryptocurrencies that are now emerging won't do something similar or maybe something the same? Right now, I put uh, $140 into Litecoin. So, yeah, I could have went out and bought more silver. But uh, Litecoin is for the everyday man. Bitcoin's at around $1,000 right now. So... People won't be using it on a daily transactional basis. Litecoin, on the other hand, is at around $30. So it would be more used for the everyday man. Who knows, maybe people are going to trade Litecoin for silver. I have no idea. But I bought a couple just to be on the safe side. But I'm still kicking myself for not putting my money into Bitcoin, the actual granddaddy of them all of all the cryptocurrencies two years ago when my buddy told me hey man check out Bitcoin and I just shot it down and said no that's a total bunch of BS and I wasn't open-minded and I paid the price guys so it's always good to be open-minded guys we've been hoping for silver to go to the moon and we've been totally missing the boat on other things that have been happening like Bitcoin who's already gone to the moon and we're still waiting on silver to go to the moon so anyways guys that's enough of my Bitcoin rant I'm just gonna be showing you guys some silver I uh, picked up this one I uh, purchased a
couple of months ago, but I never made a video on it. And uh, when I saw it, I just had to buy it. I have no idea why I, I'm supporting these scumbags. But I just had to get it, guys. When I saw it, I pulled the trigger. So here's my coin update. It's the 5 ounce Scotiabank silver bullion coin. And I paid $144 for this, and it comes up to $28.80 per ounce when silver spot price was around $22.23. So, not bad, but for some reason, people really like the Scotiabank uh, silver because it's minted by JM, I hear. Uh, I'm not sure. You guys can correct me on that in the comment section. And something else that I pulled the trigger on that I'm really overly enthusiastic about are my 2011 Panda that I bought two days ago from a local coin shop and my 2012 Panda which I've been really wanting from the same local coin shop guys so I asked uh, my local coin shop guy how much he wanted for those and he said ten dollars over spot and I freaked out for a second but I did the math and spot was around twenty one dollars so he's asking thirty one dollars each for them and I said alright I'll pay you thirty and I'll take all of them he had two 2011's and he had one 2012 so I paid ninety dollars for two 2011 Chinese pandas and uh... this is a 2011 again and one 2012 Chinese Panda and one of the 2011's I actually ended up selling to one of my buddies so not bad pretty good deal and that just goes to show guys you guys gotta be more open minded if I shot down the guy the local coin shop dealer who told me ten dollars over spot I wouldn't even have uh, thought about buying it but then when I kept an open mind and I thought about it. Wow, I'm getting 2011, 2012 pandas for 30 bucks. I pulled the trigger and I bought it. So who knows, guys, in two years, we'll see uh, what those pandas are going to sell for. Anyways, guys, this was a longer uh, video. This was Numismatic King. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from my family to yours. Signing out.